In Monitor, a developing story out of Miami now. A strong odor of gasoline has been detected inside a van there. And what police uncovered is extremely dangerous. Let's go to local 10 news reporter Leanne Motorhone, who is live for us with the latest details on this one. Leanne. Well, Calvin, Southwest 4th Street is now back open. We are right off of 12th Avenue. You can see traffic is moving through once again, but this was an active scene as there was a van filled with hundreds of gallons of gasoline. It just shouldn't have been. Gallons of gas were seen transferred into a tanker truck, the proper vessel for transporting fuel. A dangerous, improper, and illegal vessel was found parked here leaking, say police, at Southwest 4th Street and 12th Avenue in the city of Miami. A concerned neighbor smelled the fumes and called police. The owner of the vehicle is a 24-year-old uh, individual that's been living uh, in the U.S. and in Miami for the last year and a half. Approximately. Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo says he spoke with detectives and saw the van outfitted with a 250 gallon tank, essentially making this a bomb on wheels. And particularly when this started leaking like that, if anybody would throw a cigarette, uh, that place would go up like there's no tomorrow. This is far from the first time we've seen this type of crime. In February, State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle announced charges against 11 men, who she said were all part of an organized theft ring, using skimmers and fake credit cards to steal thousands of dollars worth of gas and keeping it in hidden bladders inside of trucks, vans, and even passenger buses. A band of credit card and gasoline thieves have made your daily commute more dangerous than you ever thought. In August 2017, we told you about this van spilling fuel. And in January 2017, a vehicle that burst into flames. Both of these were found with illegal bladders filled with gallons of gas. We're told detectives know who this van is registered to. It's unclear whether they have that person in custody or have even made contact with them just yet. We know that police were going to be looking at surveillance video in the area to see when that vehicle was parked there and who was behind the wheel. Live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Leanne, thanks.